time for another episode of The Get Up. What's The Get Up? The Get Up is a slingshot. It's a chance to pull back your day and launch into a brand new adventure with encouragement, motivation, and practical actions you can apply to the goals you care about the most. Today, I want to tell you two things that my friend Mike Foster told me we should always do during the middle of a pandemic. I don't know if you're familiar with Mike Foster. He's another author, another speaker, but the word I'd use to describe him best is guru. Do you have those people in your life? Like when you're around them, you walk away feeling better. You walk away feeling happier. You walk away feeling settled and at peace. Like he's just one of these guru guys. He lives out in San Diego um, and I've known him for about 12 years. We did our first speaking event together 12 years ago, which is crazy to think about. And he's one of those guys that if I'm ever in a jam, if I'm ever stuck on a situation, I'll call him up and get great feedback, great advice. He's an awesome follow on Instagram. He's Mike Foster 2000. I can't recommend his stuff enough, but recently he told me two things that I should do during the middle of a pandemic. And there's two things that I think you should do too. So I thought I'd share them. The first is he said you should take notes. Pay attention to what's going on right now. You should be taking notes. I think about it like this. You should be both Jane Goodall and the monkey in this story because you're taking notes about yourself as you handle this. Pay attention to what's going on. Take a few notes. For instance, I wrote down recently that I didn't understand how much of my identity was tied to my job and my performance until some of my job got put on pause. I'm still doing a ton of virtual events. I'm doing a bunch of different things right now, but I'm not traveling. I don't get to stand on stages in front of people and that got put on pause and I didn't understand how important that was to my identity until it was kind of taken away and I had to go, oh, I need to should pay attention to that. I didn't know how much I loved control. If you asked me three months ago, are you a control freak? I'm like, what? No, I'm casual. I make jokes on the internet. Like, what are you, what are you talking about, man? I'm like breezy, like Monica. And now though, I'm going, oh, I really like control. I really need control. I feel stressed right now because the illusion of control has been removed from me. I no longer have the illusion. To be honest with you, I didn't have control. Like in January, I didn't have control of what was going to happen in August. But I felt like I did. I felt like I got it figured. I kind of know how things are going to go. But now all of that's gone and I feel stressed. And so I need to write a note and go, okay, I have some control issues. Probably need to think about. Might need to talk to somebody about that. Somebody with a beard and a sound machine in a quiet office. Good to know. That's the first thing. Take notes. The second thing. The second thing you should do during a pandemic is don't make any major life decisions. That's what Mike Foster said. He said, hey, don't make any major life decisions. And the reason is you're not in the best place to make them. Now you might have to, like I get that if you've had something planned for six months, you have to do it in this window, that's fine. But don't start something new. It's so tempting in the middle of a crisis to try to change something radically. To go, okay, I'm going to move to another state. I'm going to marry this guy that I've known for a week. Like, I'm going to get a ta terrible tattoo. Like, I don't think you understand how many bad tattoos are going to come out of this season. Like, right now is not the time to think, I need a chest plate. Like, a full chest of, like, Tiger King. Or, like, you know, next summer at the pool in your neighborhood, you're going to see somebody with, like, a toilet paper roll tattooed on their arm. You'll say, what? What was that? And they'll say, well, I got a little stir crazy during... Corona and I gave myself a toilet paper stick and poke tattoo. Don't make major decisions right now. Be careful. Be smart. Be deliberate. That's why I keep telling people pivot. Don't panic. A pivot isn't 180 degrees. A pivot is two degrees, three degrees. I'm talking to so many businesses right now and saying, hey, don't completely change your business model because a year from now you will have done damage to your brand, damage to your audience, and damage to what you're really good at. Pivot. You don't see any firemen right now painting houses just because they own ladders. They're not going, you know, we got to change everything. You don't make a huge decision in the middle of a crisis. It's just not the smartest thing to do. So those are the two things. Mike Foster said, hey, take some notes. Be Jane Goodall. Take some notes. Be deliberate about going, wow. I overreact to that or wow, I need people more than I thought. I need community more than I was aware. Two, don't make any huge life decisions. Thanks so much for watching the Get Up. I love, love, love when you hit that like button and when you subscribe, that means the world to me. I'll keep making these as long as you keep watching them.